Hi folks, Damon here. So in my intro to EMR Studio video, I gave an overview of um, cloning a public repo into your EMR Studio workspace. What I want to do now is a little bit of a deep dive to show you how to clone that repo using your own credentials and then push back changes into the Git repository. So let's get started. In the EMR uh, Studio workspace, there's a couple ways to clone from the file browser. So there's a Git clone button right there and then you can do a Git clone from up there too. What these do, though, is they will clone the repository without credentials. And so what we see most folks usually doing is linking a Git repository using their own uh, credentials to that repository. So if you go down here, you can add a new repository. And I've got a demo code repository that is publicly accessible, but I want to authenticate to it. So let me go ahead and add that repository. You name the repository. This is what will show up in the file browser when you link this with your workspace. You add the repository URL and then the branch name. And you can use um, you can use a public repository without credentials, so that totally works. If you have already added a secret, you can do that, or you can go ahead and create a new secret. And that's what I'm going to do here. So with GitHub, it's recommended to use the personal access token. So I'll go there and let's do this and just say EMR token and I'll go and get a personal access token from GitHub. So where that is up on the top right, if you go to your profile image and click on settings and scroll down to developer settings. So in there, there's a personal access token section and you can generate a new token for your EMR studio and then click on repo scope. So this will give you a token that can be used to clone and push back to the repo. I've already gone ahead and created that token. So let me go and copy that. And then I will paste that back into my studio. So I'll add the token there. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit add repository. So now that created a new repository and you can see it there and I can go ahead and link this repository with my workspace. And what that does, that's going to go and do a git clone of the repository, copy that data into S3 and make it available in your file browser. While that's doing that, one thing I want to mention is you can clone both public and private repositories. But if you happen to have a privately hosted git repository, you can also set that up. So in our EMR notebook documentation, there's a section on configuring a privately hosted git repository repository for EMR notebooks and you just drop a JSON configuration file in an S3 bucket and that will allow you um, to have traffic going from your EMR notebook to that private privately hosted Git repo. So you can still do that as well. So just check out the docs if you need to um, connect to a privately hosted repo. But back in EMR Studio, that's all connected and I should be able to go to my file browser here and here's my demo code repository. I can go in there and I can go into my EMR studio and there's the notebook that I want to edit. So I'll go ahead, I'll open up that notebook and I'll just run, um, make a couple different changes in here, maybe change that and update the year there and just go ahead and run that. And now I can save this notebook. So now I go, I've gone ahead and saved that notebook. And what I want to do is push this back up to GitHub. So over on the left-hand side, we've got this Git section here. And this shows you any changes that are staged or files that you've changed that you can add back into um, your Git repo as a commit. You can select different branches up here and um, you know, so push or pull from a different branch and add tags. But all I want to do, I just want to um, add this changed file as a staged file. I'm going to add a commit message, which has just updated the notebook. And I'll go ahead and commit that. And that just commits it locally. And so I could make, make a bunch of changes and commit things locally if I wanted to. And then I can go ahead and hit this push button up here. So this pushes my changes up to the Git repository. And again, that's just doing a Git push that completed successfully. And if I go back to my demo code, what I should see if I refresh is there's my commit message that I just updated the notebook. So awesome. Um, that worked perfectly fine. And you can see this used my Decort username. If you do want to use your own you know, username and email address, what you can do is in the launcher, you can just pop open the terminal and you can do a git config um, dash edit. And that'll allow you to change your username and, and email address if you want the commits to show up you know, as being from you. So that is making the change pushing it up to Git. And when you do link these, these Git repositories, the configuration for that is stored in EMR console. So let me pop over to that real quick to show what that looks like. So in the EMR console, you've got your notebook section here and your Git repository section. If I refresh, you can see there's my um, demo code repository. And when I click on that, you can see all the information about that repository. So that's the ID, when it was last modified, and even the secret that's being named or being used. And so that is a secrets manager secret. So you could 
you know, click on over there and see if you needed to modify that secret or change it or, or do whatever you wanted to in there. If you don't need that repository anymore, if you unlink it from your MR Studio workspace, you can just go ahead and delete it from there and you're good to go. But that is the basics of adding a Git repository into EMR Studio, changing things and pushing them back up to GitHub. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.